Well, I think it's a, it's a great question around you know, how business leaders can prove, grow, show ROI. It really is uh, the million dollar question for many, especially as it comes to predicting, using, uh, and gaining value from, from AI models. Generative AI probably is a little easier to prove. Traditional automation historically has been easier, I would suggest, because more often than not, you're replacing a human action with that of, a, of an automation or a technology. And so, you know, the key thing for me, and I, and I, and I created a model myself, not an AI model, but, a, but a, a, a visual model of the three things that I look for when I'm thinking about how do I create or how do we prove that this type of technology is going to have uh, a, a return on investment. So, you know, if I think about this, it has to be uh, something that's repeatable, something that we're able to measure. If you can't measure it, then how can you improve it? If you can't, if you can't measure it, how can you prove that there's been value created or not. Um, and in, in the world of gener generative AI, the type of process like has to be a creative process. Uh, and the reason why I want to highlight it has to be a creative process, because if it's not creative, you probably shouldn't be using generative AI. You should be using some other form of, of technology, whether that's a, a software, an, an RPA software, an OCR software or something else. Um, so it's a really difficult one. I think if we had all of the answers in this instance, um, I, I, you know, I think we would be definitely be, um, be uh, onto an absolute winner. But I think the, the key thing really is, from a return on investment perspective, you have to be able to measure a before and after, um, and, uh, and you have to have a good grasp on, on what the value is that you're looking to create. Any other thoughts? I like the before and after because I think what's really important is A-B testing, right? You've got to be able to evaluate different scenarios. One scenario is before mm -hmm. and one scenario is after, but you also want to evaluate different options, right? So particularly in predictive more so than generative AI, um, you could have different models. You've got champion challenger type exercises and, and both of those models might be helpful, but one might be more helpful than the other. And, and I liked there was a period of time when data science was the terminology that was really favored. And I like that because it is science. You should be able to do a before and after, an A and a B, and compare those results. And that's scientific. That's what you do in science. You compare things. So um, I, I like that, that approach to the process to proving ROI. But back to your point, if you're thinking about it, if you can measure it, right, if it's repeatable, all those things are really important. And it's the right question to be asking you've got to be looking at the ROI of these investments. If you're making these investments and you're not trying to evaluate the ROI, you shouldn't be making the investment. I think that's, that's really key. I'm not aware of too many business cases in my 20 odd year career that have not had some form of return, a, a monetary return, very rarely in any organization I've worked with, either as a consultant or as a client, have I seen a business case that is made up of something that is just, it's the right thing to do. It's always about a return. It's generally always about an efficiency measure and that measures usually uh, minutes, hours, days, weeks, salaries saved. Uh, and so again, you know, if you, you, we have to be able to measure the thing that we are trying to improve and whether that is an increase in sales, a reduction in manual effort, uh, an improvement in customer satisfaction or whatever, we have to be able to measure. Measurement is key. My opinion is that we're not dealing with an issue of maturity in the market. Mm -hmm. We're dealing with an issue of adoption, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And so it's not like, hey, everybody's doing AI and they need to move up a level. Mm -hmm. There's still, you know, the, the unwashed masses are greater than the washed masses.